Welcome, welcome. It's me and it's Lean. It's the Yuki F31 Super Power Turbo Fan. And some people call it the hurricane. Oh, this thing could really blow. You've all been there, right? You're sitting there with your compressed can of air and lo and behold, it's empty again. And these things are not cheap anymore. Oh my gosh, they are not cheap. Super expensive. I mean, you get a case of them now and you're looking at it like hundreds of dollars. So there's got to be a better solution. And I think, I hope at least I found it. Here we go. This is the all new Yuki F31 Super Power Turbo Fan. Has a brushless motor, wind pressure of 150 gusts. The wind speed, are you ready for this? 45 miles an hour. Holy moly. Yeah. That's about uh, ooh, 50 kilometers, uh, actually more. It's around 60 kilometers per hour. And takes a... Specs right in the front, look at that. A 5,000 milliamp hour battery capacity. So it holds a charge. Take a closer look at the box. Super rotation, brushless motor, magnet, magnet design. I don't know what they mean by that. Blows the dust, has overheating protection, yada, yada, yada. Um, interesting. So automatically stops when temperature reaches 150 degrees Celsius. Hey, I had no idea. Very cool. So yeah, I'm going to open it up and take a peeky of this little turbo van. Ooh, nice packaging, gotta say. Wow, even for products that aren't super expensive, this was around 45 bucks Canadian, probably around 33 or so US dollars. Um, yeah, so not super expensive. Come on, Super Turbo. Oh my goodness, come on. Oh, finally, here we go. And oh, yes. Hey, greeted with a nice user manual. Uh, English, German, Italian, French, and Espanol. For all our Espanol viewers out there. Um, Two-year warranty. Hey, gotta like it. Here we have our QR codes. Want more info? Pretty decent looking manual. F31. Look at the RPM. Is that 130,000 RPM motor? Holy moly. 5,000 milliamp hour capacity, working voltage, 7.4 volts. Theoretical endurance, I like the theoretical, four hours in first gear. Um, yeah, so I don't know, four hours of battery life? Not too shabby. Anyway, what else do we got here? What else do we got? Oh, very nice. Oh, look at that. Look at that. And you know what? It's got a good heft to it, fairly heavy. This feels like a quality instrument. We've got that orange and black combo. I'm loving that. I am liking that. Oh, yes. Very nice. Get one of these little piddly, you know, USB-C cables that are about an inch long. That's really helpful. And what else do we get? Oh, a little box of goodies. A little box of goodies. And Yuki... Ooh, ooh, so nice and soft. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness gracious. Check this out. It's a whole bunch of different brushes. Whoa. I had no idea. Very nice. Included with our little blower. So, man, you know, I was going to buy some brushes on Ellie. Guess what? I don't have to. Very sweet. All right. Time to get blowing. I've got one of these hard cases. It's actually for a clamp meter, I believe, um, lying around. And I thought, what a great idea. Put our little duster blower into this hard case. What a great portable way to take this thing without destroying it. So let's do that, shall we? Oh, yes. I'm ex... Oh, no. Seriously? Oh, man. Ah. Uh, wait a minute. Oh yeah, now we're talking. Ah, beauty. 
Yeah, that's right. It has an awesome little magnetic attachment. Easy breezy. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? So it takes the overall measurements, makes it even smaller than it is. Of course, when you want to have that nice uh, airflow, put it back on and away you go. This thing rocks, man. Oh! That is powerful. I, I just got it. I just can't resist. Watch this. I mean, really? <laughs> Take a look again at the user manual for the Yuki F31. Um, nothing specific in the manual itself in terms of the velocity, the wind speed itself, but they call it a gear shift. See over here? So first gear, basically low gear, they're saying it's a soft wind. Second gear, <laughs> violent wind. And third gear, get the heck out of Dodge. Yes, that is a super violent wind, hurricane, typhoon. You know what I mean? Yeah, it, it's it's really windy. Um, cool. So, you know, we're going to test it. And I remember on the box, it did say 45, I believe that's miles per hour wind speed. Um, which is around 65, 70 kilometers per hour um, converted. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see. We shall see. Of course, I've got our little animometer here to measure that wind speed. This should be fun. Right now, we are in kilometers per hour. So I switched it to miles per hour from kilometers per hour, as you can see here. So, 45 miles per hour is what we want to see. Let's give it a whirl. Literally a whirl. Okay, so I ended up putting it on a tripod here, just for stability's sake. Alrighty, Aphrodite. Okay, we're going to start off on low. Here we go. Now, I have it hooked or set for max men. So right now that was 8.5 miles per hour. 8.5 miles an hour. Okay, we're going to take it up a notch to wind speed number two. The violent storm wind speed. Three, two, one. All right, definitely a little louder, a little stronger. And this one came in at... 21.7 miles per hour. Woo! Okay, let's take a breath. Let's grab something we can hang on to. We are going to go into typhoon mode now. Number three, hurricane mode. Three, two, one. Holy moly! Jeez Louise, that thing is... That's forceful. Um, gave us a max of 32.4 miles an hour. 32.4. Oh. <laughs> you, my little friend, are wild. Oh, I love it. I love it. And DC volts, 5 volts, 1.5 amps. F31 model, 5,000 milliamp power battery life. The turbo fan from Yuki. Okay, let's take this sucker apart. Gotta put low speed here. Like we got a pretty small Phillips there. Let's see if that's 
it's gonna be small enough. That does the trick. just gonna come off like so wow that is a pretty beefy battery for uh, such a small instrument what do we got here 2500 milliamp per 18.5 watt hours 18650s 7.4 volts whoa so we have two 18650s in there nice Taken off both of the uh, windscreen protectors on either side of the unit. And uh, on one of them, look, there's the uh, magnetic backing. So a little magnet to attract that uh, funnel or nozzle uh, when you connect it. So really cool. I really like how they've engineered this thing. Man, they did a really good job. There's the main motor deep inside here. I'll take it out on the other side. You can see those copper windings. No outer markings. Boy, that looks like a jet turbine engine, doesn't it? Sounds like what I'm telling you. All steel construction again. This is, feels like aluminum here, but uh, really, really awesome attention to detail. And some really nice gauge wires you can see as well. Nice and thick. So this is going to last a long time. If anything, it'll go. It'll probably be that uh, 18650 Duet uh, powering this because... Uh, Everything else just looks like it is fabricated top notch. Here we are under the scope for a quick look, a closer look and uh, nice. Look at that PCB. This is the USB-C uh, charging PCB, a separate PCB uh, for the charging. Other, other side, reverse side, we've got etched markings. So I can't tell what that microcontroller is, but gorgeous PCB all the way around uh the other side another or a pcb here we've got those mosfets used for a synchronous rectification as well as quick charging um very nicely done once again i really like that thick pcb and um, man that is not something you see all the time so great attention to detail it does heat up that thick pcb is definitely going to help keep things uh, cooler in the long term Another controller down there. Couldn't find anything data sheet wise on that device. And look at that gauged wiring. Nice. Closing thoughts on the tiny but powerful Yuki F31. Oh yes, you definitely want to have this on your bench. This is one very cool little contraption. This is such a well-engineered device. They thought of everything. I'm telling you, even the magnetic nozzle attachment, genius. After that, a super long runtime, USB-C chargeable, the list goes on. Honestly, can't think of anything negative to say about this because it's just so well done. The Yuki F31 Super Powered Turbo Fan gets, you probably guessed it, a solid five out of five stars. Now, man, we are starting the new year on a roll. I am loving it. Hey, stay tuned. Exciting months ahead. Coming up in April, yeah, guess what? We're having a Heiko week. Heiko, Hako, whatever you want to call it. Soldering extraordinaire. One full week, Heiko. If you love blue and yellow, you're not going to want to miss it. Thanks for watching this review, everybody. Till the next one. Keep on testing.